episode of Hunter Jelly Bean Outdoors. Today I'm going to be going over my hang on setup I use for going out in public land. I use the uh, Hawk Combat and I was able to purchase a, on the side here I'll show up close, uh, a quick attachment and then I also use Hawk Climbing Sticks. I got a really good deal on them when I purchased them. Got them for about was that? I got them for 95 bucks, which is real cheap, but I believe they were, re I guess, getting rid of all of these and restocking them with a different design on them, I think with the muddy design. Uh, and then I also have my Aider, which I'll show a video on how to make this. I got this uh, idea from DIY Sportsman. Um, so I'll do an episode on that and how to make this. This is very helpful for trying to get higher in the tree with only three sticks, and it's a lightweight option. Uh, and we'll go into depth. And everything else so right here is that a quick attach um, it works pretty well and it did come with as you can see down here another ratchet strap so it's just like these before I was just using a camouflage strap which I can show um, I like to on my setups use this on the lower part so it provides a little more stability so it's not shaking as much and I also feel a little bit safer in it and it doesn't hurt to attach the actual strap that came with the stand uh, beforehand I would use a ratchet anyways and this is just extra safety precaution if this does end up failing. Okay, uh, next up we have the Lone Wolf Climber. I got a really good deal on this. Got it from a buddy of mine. Got it for 150 bucks. Uh, you can't really find it cheap, at least for around the area I'm at. For one with the type of uh, attachment they have here, usually when you get one for 150 with this attachment it's the old uh, metal V one where you have to like screw it in and everything. I used to use an older uh, climber from like early 2004. It was a lot bigger. Um, I didn't mind the attachments it had to get the hang on attached to the tree, but I do like the lone wolf setup a little bit better. Um, it is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter than my last one, so I'm glad to be having that as an option. This is the best for straighter trees. I have a couple trees that I use and some spots that are meant. I guess four climbers, so I'll be using that in those trees. Uh, and then other trees where they're kind of like this setup, where a lot of twigs and branches, I'll use my hang on the most for. Um, like I said, I got this at a really good deal. I got it for 150. Can't find them that cheap. Gotta give a shout out to my buddy. He slays big bucks too. It doesn't matter where he's hunting, he's gonna get himself a big buck. Hopefully, I can get some footage with him this fall. Um, so yeah, this is the Lone Wolf stand. Uh, it is an older model, but it's way better than my last hang-on that I was using. And lastly, my other setup I use is the Ground Assault. I use this chair. Um, I recently purchased a new one this last year when Shields had their sale on chairs. Um, very nice. It's not super heavy. Uh, it's nice for quick setups. If I only have a few hours at night and I want to get in quiet, I'll just bring the chair in. Um, I'll either use my tripod that I'm using right now on the camera or I'll use my tree mounted uh, tripod that I bought at the muddy one, the $80 one, so it's the middle of the line one. Um, this is super nice, it's got this nice long strap, carry it over the shoulder, get out there with the backpack and whatever gear I need. Um, folds up nice. You just fold it, has a little clip on it, you just clip it right in. Super quick and easy. And that's the chair. So those are my three setups that I use mainly when I'm out in public land. Uh, my own land, we either use our uh, tower blind or we use our um, ladder stands. Uh, we use a little bit nicer ones. We've been slowly upgrading them over the years. Since we, some of our older ones are from like 2008, 2009. Uh, sold a bunch of them, and now we're going to be using. They're called either sniper stands. Oh no, I can't remember what they're called. I changed the name. We can get them from Menards. About a hundred some bucks. Nice mesh seats, super comfortable and nice and big. So, like I say, this is the setups. We have our hang on, climber, and chair. Those are the different setups that I'll use throughout the year, and um, I'll make sure I note them this coming fall when we go out there. And I guess the fourth setup is uh, just a run and gun, so I don't even use any chair, just go out there. Usually, what I use for turkey hunting, I'll just bring a cushion with me and we'll go out there sit on the ground and try to get them or I've done it before bow hunting where I'll just sit on the ground that's a lot harder I'm still yet to kill one just sitting straight on the ground I have killed one on public sitting in the chair that was actually my first ever bow buck 
Uh, 20 yards came in a little uh, five pointer, shot that. The other one I used was in a climber, um, that perfect tree I was talking about. That was with the old climber, shot a spike buck doing that. Um, my goal is to get another, or get a deer with a hang on set up out in public and eventually do a stock, ground stock on one and try to get one that way. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time.